So recently the German manufacturer AX Lightness came up with an ultralight road bike with disc brakes. 5.4 kg is what they claim. There's already been a bunch of reviews on it, but I thought I'd share my own comments and criticism on it. So let's dig into it. So we're here on Bike Radar. Let's check it out. We have the AX Lightness. Debuts a 5.4 kilogram disc road bike built for everyday riding, they say. So early in the article, uh, there's the, the pricing, 12,000 euros between 12 and 14,000 euros. Uh, the ETAP version is actually 14,000 bucks. So already here, I don't know if it, this is really for everyday riding because which person can just drop 14 grand on a bike for everyday riding? It's not me at the moment. So the frame weighs in at 750 grams for a medium. A weight limit of 420 kilograms. It's pretty impressive for a lightweight bike like this. And look at it, it's, it looks almost aluminum, uh, especially at back end there. The fork looks ultra lightweight, but from the front, it actually looks quite strong, which is uh, important for a disc brake road bike. Extra light hubs. And I believe we have, check out the rims. We are now on Benno bike. They have their own ribs for the job. Extra light hubs, SRAM, red axis, hydro uh, group set. Also seat post and stem, of course, because they are also a components manufacturer. I made in Germany. Of course, if it's German engineering, I have no doubt about that, that it will actually uh, hold together. The wheel set is an 840 gram ultra 25T wheel set uh, with the extra right SPD, three hubs, so a really ultra lightweight wheel set. Good thing that is disc brake because I personally would be scared uh, to ride that down a mountain and be braking on those rims. So with the SRAM red axis about uh, 12,000, 13,000 euros, quite a hefty price, but of course uh, if you want lightweight and security, that's the price that you have to accept and pay for ultimately. So with the disc brake road bikes, um, the industry has to conquer a whole new challenge because they again have to drop down the weight. Um, they have done it before. You, back in the days, the uh, S-Works Tarmac uh, with SRAM Red would weigh in about 6.2 kilograms, I don't know, but really lightweight. Six was possible, six and a half was normal. Because of the heavier group set, the SRAM Red E-Type Hydraulic comes at 2.2 kilograms and SRAM Red 22 comes in about 1.77 kilograms. So the new group set is about 450 grams heavier, which is a whole lot. Imagine if you shave that off a frame weight, that would be like astronomical. So they have to bring the weight down again because of the heavy group set, which is quite of ironic, but uh, with new disc brake standard on road bikes, they sort of created that challenge uh, themselves. So ultra light bikes are not a new thing, but with the disc brakes, they create the illusion that it's actually a new thing. Uh, look at us, we created the, this ultra lightweight bike. Although in rim brake versions, uh, it's, uh, has already been made. Trek Amonda SLR10 rebrake version was about 4.6, 4.7, I believe. That's what that was like six years ago. So now we are almost a kilogram heavier and we don't really know if the disc brakes are really that big of an advantage. Of course, if you live in a rainy terrain, uh, a lot of mountains and you're not really confident with braking, that would be an advantage for you. But otherwise, you have just additional weight with uh, new group set. Of course, that way manufacturers get new things to sell, new things to present. So in the end, it's pretty much the same, uh, but this brakes is just a new thing. Uh, manufacturers are like really racing themselves towards the lightest bike with disc brakes on it, which was the trend like 10 years ago because they were able to build really ultra lightweight bikes. UCI's weight limit is still at 6.8. Uh, that could be dropped, I believe, because nowadays we have uh, other possibilities, but I'll leave that to the UCI, of course. Uh, I don't think the discussions will lead anywhere about that weight limit. So that's it for me for this AX lightest bikes. It won't be the last ultra lightweight bike with disc brakes on it because this is always a nice attractive challenge for today's manufacturers. Thank you very much for watching this video and peace out.